As much as I love living in Nanaimo, no city's perfect. So I surveyed the neighbors to find out our top downsides to living in Nanaimo. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. As the name suggests, my name is Rita, and I help people relocate in and around Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. So what are the downsides to living in Nanaimo? Well, I took a spin around my neighborhood in North Nanaimo and asked my community what they disliked about living in Nanaimo. So it's nearly impossible to find a doctor in Nanaimo. BC already has a shortage of physicians, but finding one on Vancouver Island, particularly North, can take years. A lot of people have added themselves to wait lists, but even then, it can take a really long time to be seen by a family doctor. And adding to this frustration, a lot of clinics have even closed their wait lists. Luckily, I was given a heads up to this and I kept my family doctor on the mainland. So I mostly do phone consultations with him. And there's also TELUS Health that a lot of Islanders use. There are only a few walk-in clinics in Nanaimo as well. So when I found myself severely ill, I have had to drive up to Parksville to their urgent care. One of my neighbors also mentioned the difficulty around not having a cardiac unit in Nanaimo and having to drive about two hours to Victoria to be seen. Another neighbor mentioned that they received excellent care at the Nanaimo Regional Hospital. So I don't want to discourage you completely, just make sure that if you intend to move to Nanaimo, you have a healthcare plan in place. Even in some of the nicer areas in Nanaimo, it seems impossible to avoid litter. Now I'm convinced that a lot of this garbage is from people passing through, but I'd love to see more of a community efforts to keep our parks and sidewalks clear of garbage. Sadly, there's also been an increase in discarded needles. And what's more concerning is one of my neighbors shared with me finding some of these needles in a school zone. I personally haven't experienced this. Um, I did experience it a little bit in Vancouver, which is to be expected a little bit more in larger cities. I just didn't expect to hear that in Nanaimo. In contrast to nearby Parksville and Qualicum, Nanaimo is seriously lacking some good oceanfront dining, which is a shame because it's something that I truly enjoy. So I'm not sure if this has to do with maintaining the integrity of our beaches, but I'd love to see more options for waterfront patios. If you're from Nanaimo and would like to leave your best patio recommendation, please drop it in the comments below. I've mentioned this one a few times, but when you live on an island, there's that extra obstacle of having to leave. It's not a total drag, but I've covered a lot of the details in some of my previous videos. So if you'd like to know more about my experience commuting using BC ferries, I'd recommend you check out that video next. People in Nanaimo want more hockey rinks. I actually received this feedback from two separate neighbors. And as my family is no longer involved in this sport, I didn't even realize this was an issue. So this came from one of my neighbors who is a women's hockey coach, and he expressed difficulty competing with youth to find his players ice time. And as an aside, just keeping with the winter sports theme, I researched how many ski mountains there are on Vancouver Island and found three. The most popular one being Mount Washington, which is in the Comox Valley. Further up in Port McNeil, there's also Mount Kane. And then in Port Alberni, there's Aerosmith Mountain. I wasn't able to find a ton of information on this mountain online, so that's something that you'd want to check out if you're planning to visit. I try to be as transparent as possible about my relocation to Nanaimo, which is why I like discussing things that might help you decide if living in Nanaimo is the best move for you. So if there's a topic you'd like for me to cover, make sure you let me know and please like and subscribe to this channel. You can also ring the little bell if you'd like to be kept up to date on my latest video releases. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.